Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing and Audiobook Creation Exchange have dominated the world of self-publishing since they are the most direct route to publishing onto the Amazon marketplace. Few self-publishing companies rival the two distribution channels for self-published books and audiobooks. But with recent concerns over unjustified or unclear account terminations through KDP and the controversy surrounding ACX with Audiblegate and their insultingly low royalty structure, authors and self-publishers are looking for viable alternatives. They've had a few viable alternatives, but those options all pale in comparison to what Amazon offers until now. Recent policy changes at Ingram Spark and Findaway Voices should make Amazon stand up and take notice. These two options offer so much more to self-publishers and an unrivaled reach that even Amazon can't touch. Let's take this one item at a time, so stick with me as I break down all the moving parts of the story that unfolded over the last week. By the way, if you're looking to supercharge your self-publishing business, consider subscribing to my new video on demand service when you visit theselfpublishinghub.com. For only $9.99 per month, you'll get access to over 100 videos and hours of footage covering all walks of the self-publishing business. If you enjoy my YouTube videos, you'll love my videos on demand. It's like my YouTube videos on steroids. No ads, no filler, all killer. Again, visit theselfpublishinghub.com to subscribe today. Find Away Voices is an audiobook distribution company that reaches 45 different online retailers and libraries. It's free to distribute your audiobooks in exchange for an 80-20 revenue share in your favor. In November 2021, Spotify, the online music streaming service, acquired Find Away, the parent company of Find Away Voices, for an estimated $123 million. What was their plan? to dominate the world of audiobook sales. In fact, Spotify CEO Daniel Ek touted audiobooks as the company's third major vertical after music and podcasts, and they proved it by putting their money where their mouth is. In September of 2022, Findaway Voices announced among their 44 other retailers, Spotify would now be the new retail avenue for audiobooks. And Spotify continues to aggressively expand its reach with audiobooks into other regions throughout the world. On May 1st, Findaway Voices officially announced an unprecedented royalty for audiobook distribution. Spotify will waive the 20% distribution fees through Findaway Voices. This means Findaway Voices will no longer take 20% of the net profits of sales made through Spotify. It's just going to be a flat 50-50 split. Meaning, authors and audiobook rights holders will get 50% of all audiobook sales made through Spotify. The other retail options and Find Away Voices will continue to have the revenue share model of an 80-20 split. As an example, Apple takes 55% of each sale made on their platform by way of Find Away Voices. Then the net profit is split 80-20 when you get 80% of the net profits, whereas Find Away Voices gets 20%. With Spotify sales, it's a flat 50-50 split with no middleman taking additional revenue. The best part? You determine the price of your audiobook when publishing through Findaway Voices, and it's not set up through some arbitrary system that only determines price based on the length of an audiobook. That's what leads me to Audiobook Creation Exchange, or ACX. Now, ACX has had a foothold in the audiobook distribution business for a long time. If you wanted to distribute to Amazon, Audible, and Apple, you had to be okay with the ACX policies. According to sources, Audible owns the largest share of the audiobook sales, having 63.4% of the market in 2022. But it doesn't come without some questions and additional concerns voiced by many in the publishing community, both traditional and self-publishing. ACX was mired in controversy when account holders discovered blatant abuse of the return system, leaving some account holders in debt to the company. If you want more details about that, visit audiblegate.com. It's a topic that deserves a whole different video. At face value alone, anyone can see ACX as abusing authors with a meager 25 to 40% royalty. Not to mention, they only value an audiobook based on its length. Longer books are priced higher and shorter books are priced lower, leaving authors with no other option but to accept whatever pricing ACX deems as fair. This, quite frankly, is a broken system since value shouldn't be merely placed on the length of an audiobook. If that were the case for ebooks, print books, or even movies, we'd have a completely lopsided system. Yet, they've remained unchecked for years now. When famous science fiction fantasy author Brandon Sanderson shined a spotlight on ACX's egregious practices, more authors paid closer attention. He refused to publish his books to Audible due to the perceived abuse of authors everywhere. Instead, he chose to publish his audiobook to, wait for it, 
Spotify. I know most folks will view Brandon's move as something he's able to make that not every author can afford. After all, Audible dominates audiobook sales. But just because the money is there doesn't stop us from building awareness of this issue with readers. When they understand how ACX and Amazon treats authors, they might be more apt to look into alternatives and follow their favorite authors to the platform that's a win-win for everyone. Let's look at the facts again really quick. ACX gives you 25 to 40% of every sale, sets your pricing without your input, and is limited to only three retail avenues. Now, Findaway Voices gives you 80% of net profits for 44 retailers and 100% of Spotify sales at 50% of each sale. Also, you set your own pricing and reach something that ACX doesn't, libraries. If ACX is unwilling to make changes to their lopsided system, let's make the decision for them. Ingram Spark is an aggregate publishing platform that handles distribution of ebooks and print books. Their parent company, Ingram Content Group, reaches over 40,000 online retailers, libraries, and institutions. In fact, the reach is so wide that Amazon uses Ingram for the expanded distribution option for KDP print books. Using Ingram Spark over KDP expanded distribution gives you a higher royalty and more control over your metadata. Not to mention your books can reach brick and mortar bookstores and libraries. KDP does not have those options at all. In celebration of their 10 year anniversary this past week, Ingram Spark rolled out quite a few new options. One of those features has been long requested by authors, and that's a free title setup. Previously, Ingram Spark required an upload fee of $49 and an update fee of $25. Yes, you could search for coupon codes online, but in more recent years, it was getting harder to find those codes, leaving authors saddled with a $49 bill. Now, they got rid of the upload fee altogether. But there are two asterisks next to this part of the news. For one, you can upload for free, but you have a 1% market access fee. That means if you sell a book, they take an additional 1% of that retail cost. For instance, if your book is $20, your market access fee is 20 cents. It doesn't come out of your pocket, Ingram merely deducts that from your net profits. And next, you can update your book for free for the first 60 days. After that, you'll have to spend $25 per update. Now, if you have a membership with the Alliance of Independent Authors, you get five coupon codes per month to waive that fee. I highly recommend becoming a member because of this perk and many others. Side note, in the event of wrongful account termination on KDP, Ally assists members with getting their account back. Merely having an Ally membership for me is like having insurance. I hope to never use the option, but have peace of mind just in case. Ingram Spark also has two new print options in ultra premium color print books and groundwood paper, which is like a lightweight, thicker paper normally used in mass market and trade content books. Of all the print on demand platforms, Ingram Spark has quite possibly the widest selection of print book types. And if you happen to be in the US, Ingram Spark provides free ISBNs for your title. Though you can't use the ISBN elsewhere, it is one less expense for you to worry about. Will they expand this option to other regions? Time will tell. I don't have any inside intel, so it's a wait and see situation. If you're looking to reach a wider audience that includes Amazon, Ingram Spark is an extremely viable option, especially now that it's free to upload to their platform. Why is this news so impactful? These changes have many implications and are positive for all authors across the board. We've been waiting for improvements like this and an actual competitor to step up so we have choices. When left with only one choice, the business is bound to stagnate and rule in favor of one party over the other. I once heard that competition breeds innovation. Without competition, there's no need to change. So why aren't more news sources covering this? Let's face the facts. Ingram Spark and Findaway Voices have their share of hangups, just like KDP and ACX. Ingram Spark has room for improvement, make no mistake about it. I communicate with the Ingram Spark team on the regular and they are actively trying to address all concerns for account holders. And other than some recent issues with the fine print and the audiobook distribution agreement, Findaway Voices has been a stellar company and has only improved since the Spotify acquisition. If you actively provide feedback through support and even social media, these companies will make it right. Trust me, they're listening. They watch all my videos and appreciate the candid viewpoint. So I can expect the same from any of you. I'm no one special and not any better than any one of you watching. As for KDP and ACX, 
They might watch my videos, but a lot of the staff and support have their hands tied due to Amazon being the massive overlord and having no real control over the change. Can they suggest it? Sure. Will it make a difference? Maybe. But as long as authors and self-publishers continue to remain silent and accept the situation for what it is, no change will ever happen. As long as Amazon continues making money, they'll continue doing what they're doing regardless of how you feel about wrongful account terminations, flagrant system abuse, and a litany of other issues I've covered in previous videos. Now, I'm not anti-KDP or anti-ACX. I'm pro-author and self-publisher. Let's all work together to make all these companies understand they wouldn't be making money if not for all the hard work, sacrifices, and investments we make into our respective self-publishing business by way of their platforms. And the most popular questions I get is, can you use all of the options? Yes, you can still use KDP, ACX, Ingram Spark, and Find Away Voices. For ebooks, you'll want to avoid the KDP Select program if you want to publish wide. For audiobooks, you'll have to choose the non exclusive option for ACX. Personally, going forward, I'll be strictly using Find Away Voices. I don't like what ACX has to offer, and though I'm missing a large chunk of change to their avenue, I'd much rather get less sales from an avenue that respects my work and provides more than simply table scraps. And speaking of viable options, have you ever heard of Kobo Writing Life? Believe it or not, they are just coming up on the rise, and they are an option that you can publish your ebooks and your audiobooks. I'll see you on in this next video.